video earlier than now. I don't even know where to start. I just like applied for Crazy Horse, reached out to them after we saw the show on our honeymoon and I was like, I love the show. I'd love to audition at some point. Figuring like the audition would be next year because they just had an audition in March. And they were like, go ahead and send your stuff in. And I don't hear anything for like a week while I'm teaching Encore. I literally get off the plane today. <laughs> I land in New York and the first email I see is from Crazy Horse. I'm literally walking to back baggage cleaning, like freaking out. I call Dale, we're like freaking out in the airport together. Hey, I'm going to Berlin. Five days after getting that email, here I am. I'm in Berlin, staying in my friend Lindsay's apartment. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm so excited. Good morning from Berlin. So much better. so nervous I like walked into the winter garden it's so beautiful and randomly like they also had this like newspaper in Berlin that was like interviewing us and they tell me I'm gonna be second uh, the second person to go so they bring the first girl out on stage they play like a random song she improvs and then I go out and I feel so good and so amazing and I dance my heart out <laughs> and they like ask me a bunch of questions. They bring the dance captain up to the stage, measure me next to her to see how I, my height look, and we're just cheering each other on. It's like such a great environment. So we go back down to the dressing room. They come in and they're like, hey, we're gonna choose a couple people. So I get chosen <laughs> with two French girls and they talk to me and they're like, hey, whenever you're in Europe next, or like maybe you could fly to Paris and like we'd love to see you. And I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely. And then when I leave, I was like, wait, why don't I just go to Paris now? So I just emailed them and was like, hey, if you want me to come to Paris now, I can do that. Okay, so they're like, if you are stuck in Paris, I mean, stuck in Europe, then come to Paris. I suggest you come to Paris and you can see the show on Wednesday night and you can do a second audition on Thursday. I think I'm gonna cancel my flight home tomorrow and stay. You're gonna see me in the same shirts now because I was supposed to only be here for two days. I have to board my flight later today. And there's a Knicks call about what's gonna happen next season. So I just keep hoping that I'm doing the right thing. I'm making my choices. Made it to my hotel room. Long day, a really hard Zoom call, and I'm ready to get a good night's rest and get refreshed. So I promised myself that I'd be like super transparent in these videos. Today's been really hard. All the stuff that's happening in Nyx just feels heartbreaking. I think the hardest part about this is just being alone. We're still in this year. I got my outfit for the show tonight. I went shopping. <laughs> it should be like the best day of my life. First of all, I'm feeling so much better than I did this afternoon. I invited the Australian dancer who's also made it past the cut to dinner. And so we grabbed dinner near Crazy Horse, which was so nice. And then we walked over to Crazy Horse, they gave us champagne, and then Svetlana like came over and chatted with us and she was like, Hey guys, so tomorrow come here at 12 and we'll do um, wigs and we'll do lighting. Do I get to try one of the crazy wigs? Okay, well this is the video to end all videos in my audition today, my second audition. And I got to dance and do my improv on the crazy horse stage. Hey, stop honking. I'm telling a story here. Do we feel so confident? beautiful. They had us like measured 
they cut two women. So there was two of us left and we got to try on wigs and then they took a long time to deliberate. Came back in and they said, I'm so glad you guys both came to Paris because we really got to watch you and see how you look on our stage. It tells us that one of you is right for this and maybe one of you isn't. Heart kind of sunk a little bit because I was a little bit worried because the other girl is so beautiful and talented as well. And they said that they were not gonna offer me the contract. But I can't explain how like beautiful it felt. They like took the time to talk to me. I like sat me uncomfortable and I asked them a bunch of questions about like if I should come back, like what it was, and they told me how much they loved my dancing and my look and and they were like, it's really just the smallest things and we kept hoping we could ignore these little things until they became like cumulative cumulatively a lot. Two out of those three things I have no control over. Um, and all the nice things they said about me, they were like, we're not worried about you getting another job. I can't, I can't be sad about, like obviously I can be sad, but I can't be too sad because I feel like so respected and I have so much more admiration for the company than I even did before I got came here. And I don't know what my life is gonna look like when I get back in New York, I have actually no idea. And that's really terrifying. I'm not gonna think about it too long, because I might cry. One more thing I think I have to say. Maybe I fixed my lipstick by now. I did the scary thing. I did the scariest thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. And I did it well. Who would have thought a week ago? I would not have. So, so grateful.